This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is in glaciology and we're looking in more detail at the formation and general term of bergs and how they are formed, how they're created, and the different types based on their size and how they move within the ocean currents and occasionally sink very large ships. Let's check this out. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So to look at bergs in general, we have to look at the glacial geomorphology and the shape and the size and what happens at the edges of these large ice fields or ice caps or Connell ice sheets or glaciers, whereby the ice shelf is that thinner area on the outskirts of the glacier, which protrudes into and over the ocean, which also can form sea ice. But these bergs are not really sea ice. They're actually coming from or originating from the main glacier or glacier. And as the ice shelf gets thinner and thinner and thinner, the further away it goes from the ice cap and the ice sheet, with the addition of hydraulic action, weather and erosion of the oceans, and also the currents and different temperatures, you get the ice shelf breaking apart this process is known as carving. Now, this is an old English word that derives from old sailors back in the day trying to hunt whale in the area of Greenland and around the Arctic Ocean and Northern Atlantic Ocean as well. And seeing these large chunks of ice breaking off the glaciers or glaciers, and they termed it after a, a calf being born from a cow. And carving stuck as the name. So these bits or chunks of ice are being broken off by weather and erosion, by deformation inside the glacier, by basal sliding, by all of the thinning of the ice shelf to allow this chunk of ice to break off. Now the chunk of ice could be different sizes, lengths and heights. Now the term berg is a general term for any size of ice broken off into the ocean and due to isostasy, the berg is going to float. Ice is less dense than water. Water is one gram per centimeter cubed and glacial ice is a maximum of 0.8. So it's always going to float and be less dense than liquid water. So in the ocean, these icebergs, even though they weigh thousands of tons perhaps of ice, they're going to float and have a water displacement to create isostasy and basically balancing or isostatic equilibrium. So these bergs come in different sizes. They start very small and they're called growlers, which are less than a meter high and less than five meters long in length. And then you get a bergy bit, which is a cool word. Uh, it's a bit bigger, the a bit larger size, one to five meters in height and over five, 15 meters in length. Then we get the small bergs, medium bergs, large bergs, and very large. Now, an iceberg would deem to be anything that is around small, medium, large, or very large. Now, the largest iceberg ever recorded is or was the size of the island of Jamaica in the Caribbean or Caribbean, which is a very large piece of ice. And that would be uh, very daunting to see that if you're just, you know, on a cruise, you know, post uh, 1912 and seeing this very large, you know, island just float on by. So these icebergs come in different sizes and the process to create them and carve them is a complex mixture of both the ice thinning with the ice shelf and the ocean currents and processes happening on the ice to break it down. And these carving events can be fantastic and, and amazing. You see some caught on camera and on YouTube and they're just amazing to witness. I'm sure they're even better live, but also they can cause the occasional tsunami and uh, displacement of water, so being too close could be a little bit dangerous, and these icebergs can, these, these chunks of ice that are carving off, can be absolutely massive. So that's how we get the, the iceberg, that's the general term is berg, and carving, and ice shelf, and a little bit of glacial geomorphology. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.